okay now, this is the chat i think yeah the forum in the chat Okay, and that's the end of the sh the video clip on the interface. Um, Arrow Links actually um, told us that they will be providing brochures also for parents, orientation brochures, and this video clip will also provide it so that you will better be able to navigate the CLP. So that's it for the interface. Let's go to the other special features. I've already discussed the first two earlier, uh, convenient file management and e-portfolio. In terms of tracking progress, teachers, learners, and you, dear parents, can actually see the scores and completion status of the students, your daughters. This way, you get first-hand information on how they are doing and how on track they are in their learning. That's the one. Now, going to the digital authoring features, the assignment, you, you might be interested to know this. This is an important part for parents to check since this is where you will see assigned tasks and submissions if this have, and if this have already been graded. And of course, the other feature, the forum or the chat, both are good venues for synchronous discussions. While we are yet trying to adjust to distance learning and live video chats are not yet the way to go all the time, this can still make interaction possible between teachers and students and between and among teachers and students. Next, please. There are many, many ways to make assessments in CLE, but I do not want to bore you with all the technical details. Suffice to say, the CLE is equipped with all kinds of possible test construction or assessment creation. But I suppose that what I need to emphasize is that you should not always think that when your daughter is answering a CLE quiz, it is automatically graded. CLE quizzes may be formative or non-graded and summative or graded. The quiz feature of CLE can even be used by teachers as part of the actual lesson. The active quiz is actually made for that purpose. Next, please. Our teachers who have already been trained on the latest features of CLE will be using advanced features like the H5B, which is a highly interactive authoring tool. This is what I was saying earlier, that students will feel that their teacher is actually with them when they open this type of content in the CLE. And yes, there are games in the CLE, but they're all purposively for learning, particularly the competencies. Teachers also design games in the CLE to make learning more fun and exciting, just like in the face-to-face -face mode. Next, please. I think in the past, you have been able to download PowerPoint or Word files from the CLE because of its file feature. That is still possible. And that's actually how we will send the subject calendar or syllabus, modules, and class schedules, and other pertinent information to you. Next. YouTube, Wikipedia, or other credible OERs may be cited by the teacher in her lesson. For legal restrictions, 
teachers may not upload actual file videos in the CLE, but they may put the URL so that the students can visit the site. Next, please. These are all the available digital authoring tools which will make learning enjoyable and worthwhile, not to mention engaging for your daughters. These were already made available in just one platform by Aralinks for the convenience of its users. So dear parents, rest assured that we have really chosen a platform that can best answer our distance learning needs. Please know also that our teachers and administrators are updated on the latest on distance learning. We as administrators have already attended two parts of the series of distance learning webinars from Aralinks, and we will be attending part three and four on Monday. Our teachers and other personnel have attended the first in the series of webinars for teachers and are scheduled to attend more in the next days to come. Apart from this, they also attend other webinars available and other updating. So, next please. Now let's talk about... Add offline. Yes. Uh, now let's talk about offline learners. So the online learners are, are taken care of by our online platform. Now let's talk about offline learners. They are the ones who are not internet connected or those with unstable connection. Next, please. Pick up and delivery points. So learning package, packets or learning kits, as we will call them, are picked up and delivered at the access point, which is STCQC. Guidelines for delivery and retrieval will be communicated with you during enrollment so that it will be given in details also. 